Hey everybody, I'm Reed. I'm Jim. And we're here to talk about EMC performance issues. And I'm running a scenario through you. Do you ever have an EMC VNX 5500 or 5300 or 5600 and you say, man, this thing is running out of performance. Everyone's screaming, we need more performance, people are yelling at me, how are we going to speed this thing up? This is what we're going to talk about today. One way to solve that is with EMC Fast Technology. And I'm confused, so I've got Jim here to help us figure it out. So EMC, Jim, take it away. EMC Fast is an acronym for Fully Automated Storage Tiering. Okay. EMC shows you two options. Two options. So it uses the same solid state disk. Okay. But it's either a cache to the whole box or an automated storage tiering to a specific set of ones. So let's talk about fast cache. Why does someone get fast cache, which is around the whole box? Correct. Fast cache is done as a performance play. Okay. It speeds up your read write IOPS that the whole box has. So a VNX comes with what well, comes with cash, right? It comes with cash. But just a little but it's bit. It's a small amount okay. relative. So I can then take solid state disk and put in say two hundred gigabytes of more solid cache, state solid state cache to the box. So all of the LUNs in the box get the performance hit. So basically you add some more SSD to the box and it impacts performance of the entire box. Correct. What's the downside of that? Why don't we just do that all the time? Sounds great. The downside is you may have applications that don't need the performance hit hmm. and you're spending money for those applications when another group of applications really needs it. Gotcha. So EMC also came out with what they call Fast VP, okay, which takes the same style solid state disk, okay, and uses them in a different format. Gotcha. So we got the storage pool. We have three LUNs. Mm -hmm. This LUN contains SSD, SAS, and NL SAS drives. This LUN contains SAS and NL SAS, and this one contains just NL SAS. Correct. So is this one a fast VP LUN? It is fast VP enabled. Okay. But because I've only got one style of disk in it, okay. it doesn't do anything. That is akin to the disk or the LUN you created on a RAID group in the oh, past. So gotcha. it's a single style of disk. Hmm. Storage pools allows you to use multiple type disk. Gotcha. And as the box monitors your data usage, it is able to move the data from the solid state disk down to the nearline SAS disk or leave them in at SAS. It moves the data around depending upon what you do with it. So I'm a CIO, I've got this I've got this DBA I just rely on and he is screaming. He's like, we are just slowing down. And so he says, I need more space and I need more performance out of it. How could this help him? This helps in the fact that I can add DAEs of two terabyte drives to get you the capacity but by adding these, I slow the performance down. Oh, we don't want that. We don't want that. So we add these in a storage pool that includes a combination of the two terabyte nearline SAS drives and either SAS or solid state. Okay. And the array then is now able to move the data you're using. So that DBA has got a database that he only references, say, 25% of it. The array will keep that 25% of the data in the solid state disk, let all the rest of the data reside on the two terabyte drive. So I think I got it. So if I've got a performance issue and say I've got a VNX 5300, 5500, 5600, 5400, mm -hmm. and I want it to perform in the next level, I don't have to replace the entire box. I can get an SSD tray of drives and increase the performance of the entire machine. But if I want to target specific applications that definitely need performance, I can set up FastVP on those applications to keep the data that's the most likely to be accessed and needs the most performance Correct. in an SSD layer, NL SAS layer, or in a SAS layer for better performance. And there are ratios that you can use to control how the box moves the data. Okay. So if you think your database runs 50% of it's always accessed, you change the ratio so that it keeps 50% up here. Okay. So you get a performance benefit out of the box. I get a capacity benefit out of the box. The CIO is not necessarily happy, but he's happier because I'm coming to him with a smaller outlay of money that I want instead of replacing the entire box. So Jim, thanks for cleaning this up today. We covered a few things. Fast cash, fast VP, you can have either or or both. Correct. Three options. So if you're having trouble figuring out which options you're going to deploy or just wrestle with this technology, we're here to answer those questions. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have an awesome day.